Okay, okay, okay. Happy New Year, everybody. So, Konami did something super cool for once and kind of like gave us a good, good set coming off the rip beginning of the New Year. And they're going to have to do something better because I'm going to keep playing the same deck if they keep releasing cards for the best deck in the format, which is Tri Brigade. So, as we know, new card for Tri Brigade, quick play spell. It is absolutely busted. So, we'll go ahead and read it for you all. All right, control link monster, send one tri brigade card from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard, then target one effect monster on the field. Apply one of the effects. So it doesn't even require you to target an opponent's monster, just something on the board. It could be the link monster you have, which is nuts. This is why it has synergy, All right? You can send Shurig, like you the free search. So now this not only is just a combo extender, but it also is an, another disruption that tri brigade has an all. Uh, ability to use so damage count make that monster zero super nuts can't run over my double dragon lords anymore negate the target's effect till the end of turn so you got yourself an imperm um it does target so that is the the downside right and then if you send a trap um you can return it to hand so it has compulsory imperm and attack reduction so what more do we want in some more disruptions for Tri Brigade, right? And why is this important? It's because it gives us access to essentially a, a, another, a, a possible win con for Tri Brigade. Three plus Beast Warriors and Wing Beast, blah, blah, blah. We already know how the BBWs work in this deck. Cannot be special from the extra deck if you have two or less Tri Brigade spell traps, right? New spell offers access to being able to use this 3,500 attack beater. It, it acts as a, like a form of like, I guess disruption when you're comboing, especially like more of a going second. You know, I don't really foresee us using this going first. It's why it is a one of, but going second when we already have an established board in the grind game, this can secure us, you know, continue to link climb. But when you special my monster, your opponents cannot activate card effects. When a monster declares an attack, you can banish this card and banish all cards your opponent controls. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send one beast, BBW, blah, 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 from your extra deck to the graveyard. So you got yourself more Shurig access for more searching power or more grinding, right? Um, the attack and then banish is insane because it's not when this card attacks, it's when any card attacks. So it's you can use it as a defensive fight going first. You can actually put this up if you really can or whatever, but ending on this is not necessarily super bad they have to worry about moving around this. So, super cool. So, here at Blue Falcon TCG, we kind of cooked up a deck list, something preliminary to, obviously, before that it comes out in, I think, two weeks from now, something like that. But we're going to continue testing. We're working on this right now, right? So we're maxing out on Tri Brigade Roar. I think it's a great consistency card. It gives us access to combos and grind game. And we can, literally send a kit from tech to gray it doesn't matter what tribe card. cards like this is free this is awesome right so then and we're playing one tribe get oath and one obviously we're playing one revolt the reason why we're playing the oath is because it has disruption and grave which is cool um if we open it awesome we can get a free special so it's cool it's fun more synergy for the deck revolving around grave and right now there's a lot of access to graveyard effects due to tier elements in ichizu so we're playing three nerval three fractal three Karas, and three kit we are maxing all the names strictly because of the ichizu tier matchups i don't think the deck's gonna go away anytime soon we're gonna see more sprinklings of other decks with libromancer and the new ritual support coming out and then in february when we get the new Kishira stuff, which also in turn gives a giant power spike to tier elements with tier element Kishira tier element. So yeah, but I think this deck has great potential. If you look at the OCG, what's trending, Tri Brigade was winning a few tournaments, it has a great grind game. It is consistent. It does what it does very awesome and very consistently. It's free and it has room to play so much back row hate, so much any hate you want. Playing three Rescue Kitty. I don't think there's any explanation there. Three Tenki, 
and two desires. You know, we want to maximize consistency, at least with this build, right? So I know back when we already had Tenki at three, most tribal lists, you know, three Tenki, unless you're playing Zoo, it was irrelevant. So you're obviously going to drop down to two just for consistency and like, you know, opening up the deck for more floodgates, more hate. You don't, you don't need three Tenki. We're just, it's just in here for testing purposes and for theory crafting. Three Forbidden Droplets. I don't think this card ever is like bad. Opening up, going second, it's great. This deck pluses off of sending cards to the grave, like Kit, for example, would, is free. Nerval. Um, let me get advantage, so that's fine. Three Ash, three Imperm, and then a three, two, one B Seal tech, which I think is at this point, it's just hand traps with bodies. Um, so that gives you access to Beatrice, to Wallow, so things that can be more extenders for you, right? Um, I, I think I think you should have to play Beast Seals no matter what in this format, especially with the Shizu tier. Um, not so much the Shizu aspect, but just because tier elements, the, it you have to play it. It's it's like playing three DD Grow in decks that can't play Beast Seals. It's just, at this point it's now a staple and it's mandatory in this format. Change my mind. Right, cool. So. Extra deck, we got, I can't pronounce his name, Tribrigate Arms. It's Omen on Karak with more guns. Playing two Omen, playing a one Regulus, Rigul, playing two Ferrajeets, one Ramper Rampager. Like I said, we're only gonna search once. We only need to search. We're always, always, always gonna search that revolt. That's that's always the move, because that is a disruption that's some layered, layered annoyance that we wanna make our opponents play around. Now for the generic stuff, we're playing one Double Dragon Lord. We're obviously playing the one Al Mirage in case we break. It happens. They imperm our kitty. And then one Doom Yule, Access Code, and Appaloosa around the links, and then our Zeus package. Honorable mentions is a wallow. Like you don't necessarily need access code and Zeus, but when you're playing the rescue kitty, it it, it becomes a free rank two. It could be a free elf. Elf is a great um, combo extender, rescue kitty. One rescue cat and one other BBW in hand equals Appaloosa, double dragon lords, revolt, and arc light in my current format using elf. And this is not, no, 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 no sprite shenanigans, again, just straight up tri brigade with elf in the extra deck. Phenomenal. Some other things we could be thinking about running here in the future is Nibiru. People don't expect it. The card is nuts. Everybody is walking into Nibiru all day. However, it is bad. It's bad right now, but it's so good. With Orange Light now to one, I think Nibiru is actually a lot better. There is some other cards. Uh, there you go. Something also to look forward to is this. This is a monstrosity as a Nibiru for our turn. You know, you make up, they make a board you can't break. Well, you just broke the board. One monster effect, sick. And this is especially looking at that Kashira decks in the future. This will allow us to play. And realistically, they're only banishing a little bit and they're leaving us with one or two zones. And most Kashira decks aren't taking both link zones. So if they're going blind like that, you can, you can pull off a free omen possibly and then banish out the Shangri-La, shangri -Li. shangri -Li. I don't know how to say it. But yeah. Um, this is what we're working with right now. I think it's phenomenal. Did some proxy testing. Gonna do some, um, some little online sim testing here. We gotta think this is something that's gonna be really great for Tribrigate decks in the future. Gives us access to more disruptions, more combos. Let's just grind through a lot more. I know, I know, I know. We could be playing Gamma right now too because we're playing the Rescue Cat package, we're playing Desires, and we're playing Tenki. So there are so many opportunities for us to be hand trapped or negated while not having any monsters on the board. But I, I don't, I don't really foresee a lot of decks playing Ash Blossom right now, unless it's a Rogue deck, and I don't really care about that. You can ask me all day. Um, and I'll, I'll hand trap you back. It's fine. It's how it's how this deck will grind. But yeah, check us out. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what your guys' New Year's resolutions are, and what decks you're looking forward to in the next couple months.
because looking forward to covering it and hitting some online regionals and hopefully soon prepare start preparing for the 250th YCS. That's gonna be phenomenal down in LA. So I hope I get to see y'all there. Don't forget, y'all aren't bad, you just need to shuffle better.